The Heinkel HE-162 Salamander was a German single-engine jet-powered fighter aircraft developed during World War II. The aircraft, also known as Volksjäger, or People's Fighter, emerged out of a desperate attempt by Nazi Germany to defend its skies against Allied air superiority in the latter stages of the war. The 162 was the outcome of an ambitious project undertaken by the Luftwaffe to produce a simple, inexpensive, and mass-producible jet fighter that could be flown by relatively inexperienced pilots. It was designed by a team led by Siegfried and Walter Gunther, two brothers who were key figures in the design department of the Heinkel Aircraft Manufacturing Company. The idea was to leverage the superior speed and performance of jet technology to quickly intercept and destroy enemy aircraft, particularly bombers, while requiring fewer resources and less training time compared to conventional fighters. Design-wise, the 162 was a small aircraft, approximately 9 meters long with a wingspan of about 7.2 meters. It was powered by a single BMW axial flow turbojet engine, which was mounted atop the fuselage just behind the cockpit. This unconventional engine placement was done to simplify construction and maintenance, and help to give the aircraft its distinct appearance. The 162 was designed for a single pilot, who sat in a pressurized and heated cockpit under a bubble canopy, offering excellent all-round visibility. The pilot controlled the aircraft using a conventional control stick and rudder pedals, with engine controls and additional systems arranged around them in a relatively simplistic layout. For a plane of its size, the 162 was impressively fast. It could reach a top speed of around 840 km per hour, or approximately 520 miles per hour, and had a service ceiling of about 12,000 meters. This high speed and altitude performance were vital for its intended role as an interceptor. The operational range was about 690 kilometers or approximately 430 miles. This was even more limited by its approximately 30 minutes of flight endurance. The 162 was armed with two 20 mm cannons mounted in the nose. This was a relatively light armament compared to other fighters of the time, but the idea was that the aircraft's high speed would allow it to quickly close on enemy bombers and deliver precise bursts of fire, rather than engaging in prolonged dogfights. Several variants of the 162 were planned, including models with different engines and armaments, as well as a two-seat trainer variant. However, due to the chaotic circumstances of Germany's war industry in late 1944 and 1945, only the initial A1 variant was produced in any number. Its introduction into World War II was notoriously late. The first flight took place in December 1944, with operational units receiving the aircraft by February 1945. This was during the final months of the war, when Germany was already on the back foot, and Allied air superiority was virtually uncontested. Consequently, the 162 saw very limited combat service, with only a few recorded engagements against enemy aircraft. Furthermore, the 162's rush into production and service came with a host of problems. The use of non-strategic materials in construction to save on resources resulted in structural weaknesses and equipment failures. Its BMW engine, though innovative, was unreliable and prone to overheating and flameouts. The aircraft's high performance characteristics and inherent instability also made it challenging to fly, especially for the inexperienced pilots it was designed for. As a result, more 162s were lost to training and operational accidents than to enemy action. Despite these issues, the Heinkel HE-162 remains a significant aircraft from a historical perspective. Its existence was born out of desperation, marking the extreme measures taken by Nazi Germany to try to regain air superiority in the dying days of World War II. It demonstrated the innovative, albeit often misguided approaches that were employed in an attempt to leverage emerging jet technology. The 162 was the second jet fighter to enter operational service, and it was one of the fastest aircraft of World War II. Despite the limitations and the brief operational history of the 162, it was a remarkable achievement given the circumstances under which it was developed and produced. It represented a significant step in the evolution of jet-powered flight and foreshadowed the post-war era of aviation, where jet engines became the standard for fighter aircraft. In the end, the Heinkel HE-162 did not significantly impact the course of World War II due to its late introduction, limited numbers, and operational difficulties. However, it remains an important part of aviation history as one of the first operational jet fighters 
and a symbol of the innovative yet desperate measures taken by Germany during the final stages of the war.